So hello and welcome to Best Drives, this is my first video in the series heading from Oslo to Bergen. This is one of my favourite routes and I really hope you enjoyed the video. So here we are in the Scania R730. Now, you join me, as I said, in Oslo, or just outside of Oslo. And the route that we're going to be taking today is all the way over here in, well, all the way over to here in Bergen. Uh, but as you can see, the route on the way does look pretty interesting. And the amount of fuel stations on the way also tells me that it's going to be pretty hilly. And... That sounds like fun to me. So if we jump in, and uh, have a quick look at the sat nav as well. So we got 269 miles to cover. Um, th uh, yeah, this is one of my favourite routes in the game, if not the favourite. So we're kicking it off. Uh, well, we're kicking this whole series off with a bang, because I think it's time that we have to go back in these maps and just appreciate what is really here. Because it's fine to say, oh, I think I need to tidy up this yard. Go on, do some work. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's fine to say, where's all these new maps? Where's this? Where's that? Can't wait to go left. But you really do have to appreciate what is here sometimes. I mean, I'm spending quite a lot of time in your American truck at the moment, so. I don't really get that much chance to come over here into Norway where we are now and just experience these maps because they're so different um, the maps obviously because they're uh, on different continents but there you go um, but yeah they really do separate the games it just makes them so unique I mean in America it's all flat wide and uh, just goes on forever. However, with this, it's all tight, twisted little roads that are suited to more of these cab overs, which uh, it's just so much fun driving around here. I mean, we've only just left the yard, and look at it. We're about 90 miles outside Oslo, the capital of Norway. Let's look at it, all these uh, red houses over these rivers, some kind of factory or something over there by the looks of it but yeah it's just amazing this is completely stock SCS if you're wondering I'm not running any mods at all no weather mods, no truck mods no graphics mods, nothing this is completely out of the box SCS is that a train over there that I just saw yeah look at that that's cool little train over there so I'm obviously running Scandinavia DLC, which came out probably two and a half years ago now. Pretty long. It's been it's gone really quick actually since uh, it came out, and I don't spend that much time up here. Or well, when I do come up here anyway, I spend most of my time in Denmark and southern Sweden, and then usually the job market doesn't really generate much going north. It usually picks loads of long jobs going south like to France, Germany, Poland, and stuff like that. So I don't really get the chance to come up here, um, basically because of the job market. Because I don't really see the point in driving up here with no trailer. So I, I tend not to come up here. So to be fair, it, it's the job market's fault that these maps are not properly being explored. If they, I wish it sort of came up where it sees you haven't visited this city so it'll try and generate jobs that go there or roads that you haven't explored around there that'd be cool but yeah look at these rock formations this is amazing just the way the road is completely carved through them it's so cool it's a beautiful rock colour as well that really really dark grey absolutely awesome 
it really gives this sort of place a really real sense of power with these huge rocks and really high mountains these really think thick dense of trees you know another train going along as well that'd be a beautiful journey on that train going through these mountains but you can just see that we're very high up in a valley you can see down there the farm on the floor hay bales being ro rolled up absolutely epic whoa feels a bit top heavy this truck here but it is 50 along this road or 80 kilometers an hour so not too bad at all uh, but yeah i do wish the job market came up with some better jobs and i'd be up here more often because it's such a treat when you come up here like there's another train look at that three trains we've seen now and then that bridge as well oh my gosh I don't think you can go across it. No, you can't. Like a single track bridge or something. Absolutely amazing. It's sort of ruined by these pylons, but you got to appreciate. Look how high up that pylon is. How steep that hill is. Some engineer has gone into fixing that on there. But I would not like to be the one that was putting that up. Not the best with heights. This guy's going for it. Obviously, he's not taking in the scenery. But yeah, look at that. Then all of it is sort of... Okay, thanks, dude. Um, all of it is just covered in this light mist, which I really, really do like. It gives this really ni nice depth of field. Hang on, more pylons. I believe this is a um, hydroelectric sort of place here. The water's pumped back up the hill. So I'm guessing it may be on the other side, I'm not too sure. In this case, this is all sort of a dam area. That's epic. I mean, it really is just covered in water, this place. I mean, there's so many different waterways, lakes, reservoirs. Even on this tiny little drive, I mean, 250 mile drive, it's not massively long in this game. But there's so much water that you pass in this. It's absolutely amazing. I think Scandinavia has got some kind of fact about it, about water and how much water there is in relation to land. I think it's kind of a high figure. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I just know that fact. And you can tell, really, even on this little drive here. But look how high these mountains are. I mean, you drive in American Truck Simulator through some sort of mountainous areas, but they don't give you the same effect that these do. Over there, they're all sort of sandy coloured, light brownish, um, which sort of blend into the landscape because it's most of it's sort of desert, really. Or it's country gear, so you're driving through. Um, however, this, the sort of white, grey, light grey rocks really do contrast with these sort of dark green and dark green trees and grass that really give this massive sense of scale to the whole place. But it's just amazing. I think this route has got to be some of the best um, work SCS have ever done. period because honestly I don't think I've looked straight for more than a second I'm just looking all the way around trying to get as much or take as much of it in but the current time it is 10 to 5 in the afternoon so maybe by the end of the drive we might get some uh, sunset which would be absolutely epic over all these twisty roads. But I'd love to come up here in real life and just take in the scenery. Just maybe have like a log cabin somewhere, a jacuzzi, sauna, all that kind of stuff. That would be epic. By a lake. Absolutely awesome. Reminds me quite a lot of uh, Switzerland around here. 
the same sort of vibe about it. Again, these huge rock falls, the rock formations, and they're all 3D as well, which are like, they're not those just flat, plain textures, they're all three dimensional. Let's go for an external camera sec. Just take that in. Looks like we're crossing even more water over another bridge. There we go, look at that. Looks like some rapids down there through the rocks. Oh, look at that, there's like multiple pathways for the water then. Like those little tight little gullies that is going down. Oh, what's this here? Norwegian flag. Little stop over here, but what on? Whoa! Oh my! What on earth? Look how deep that valley is. And then there's a road down there. That is amazing. I'm not exaggerating. That is the best scenery in this game. Just the mist. The wow! The scale of that. <laughs> Look at this road on the map. This is amazing. Alright, let's go down here. Need a bit of retarder. Wow, and then these tunnels as well. I would not like to know how much this costs to uh, build. Carving this tunnel through these mountains on multiple levels. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'm going even deeper into the valley now. If you came here at night, you would be completely missing out on all this and you just wouldn't know about it because you wouldn't be able to see them. And then back through these tunnels. I have to say, you don't get very good fuel economy coming down these roads. You're constantly slowing down, speeding up going up and down hills but I think it's worth it, I really do yeah just look how steep this tunnel is you can't really tell from this angle but it really is pretty steep oh, let's not have a head on oh, we should be coming down out the other side, I mean I can't tell <laughs> it's with this road here that we're coming onto a straight. But yeah, this must have been millions, if not billions of... What do they have in Norway? I don't know. don't know what their currency is. But a lot of money. And whoa! <laughs> Just look at that. Like the dense vegetation through there, these rock walls. Wow, let's just have a look. Oh, there's a police car passing us. Oh, he's got his uh, lights on. Maybe something's happened, I don't know, but look at that. We've just driven through that mountain. It's like something out of James Bond, really. Absolutely amazing. Well, that police car isn't going very quick, considering he's got his uh, lights on. Yeah, wow. Well, and a fuel station. <laughs> yeah, you probably want to fill up there if you're running out and about to go up that hill. But yeah, this is probably the best way to do it. Oslo to Bergen, opposed to Bergen to Oslo. Because most of this is downhill, because it's going down towards the... Um, coast really but yeah I would not like to do that um, route the other way it'd be a, in a very low gear oh there's a little uh, bit of roadworks 
but yeah look at this we're down to water level now and then we're heading back up this is absolutely epic and roadworks I would not mind uh, working on these roadworks with these views I probably won't get anything done I'll be constantly taking pictures but oh, it's not going into gear there we go Jealous of your job, bro. Okay, let's go back up these hills. But yeah, even in the 730, third gear, 30 miles an hour up these. But yeah, how long have we got to go now? 105 miles. Wow, we still got so much to see on this journey. But yeah, hopefully you are enjoying this sort of new series that I'm doing. I thought it is really time that we just appreciate some of the roads that they've, some of the work that they've put into these roads. Because not many people come down them, they really don't. And again, probably because of the job market and, whoa, that bridge is huge, look at that. I can hardly see the other side of it because of the mist. Whoa. Right. Look at this. We got another little sort of loop the loop here around this mountain to get onto the bridge. Can't really see. We gotta go downhill and then through the uh, through a bridge. Then <laughs> let's put the retarder on. Whoa. Whoa! Did you feel that then? I've, I've noticed when you got the retarder on and you're going down the hill, it really just chucks the back out. Oh, wait a minute! Look at this. in here oh this is out of the out of this world blue and white lighting in here it look again it looks like a James, something from James Bond wow with a capital W I love that what an epic way to get onto a bridge it's only 60 kilometers an hour through here though I mean the detail as well, you can see all the ventilation fans as well. And then the rock, I mean look at this, it's not like a concrete outer layer, it is just the pure rock here with some cool lights on it. Almost like a mine shaft, it's awesome. And even here as well, more blue lighting, epic, and then out onto this bridge. The sun is just going down over the mountains, going over a bridge in Norway. <laughs> this is amazing. If I could drive a truck down here for a living, I think I may consider that. So, so cool. I mean, it's so peaceful as well, you can hear the birds. And then back in for the tunnel, even more blue lighting! I'm getting so excited about this route. Alright, Bergen sign. There we go, even more of this blue lighting. I'm guessing this is modelled off like a real life thing. If so, I am coming here. I mean... To drive from the from the UK to get your own car over here, I'm not too sure how you would do it. I'm guessing there's some kind of car ferry, maybe over to Denmark or maybe elsewhere. I'm not too sure. Otherwise, you'd have to drive from the UK through France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, 
then over to Norway and then all the way up here to uh, Oslo and the Bergen area but if you can I am definitely doing this at some point this is awesome and they've even got an auto pass as well how useful so you don't have to stop you just carry on enjoying the scenery but yeah that was a really nice drive so I'd say what did what time did we leave maybe about just after midday and then you get to well, just outside Bergen just before sunset which will be by the coast just before the sun goes down I think that's a really nice time to do it otherwise I'm guessing you could do it early morning again that would look epic but probably do it the other direction if you're doing it in the morning see your face in the sun just look at that sun shafts over the mountains wow I mean I don't know enough words to describe this I need to have a look in the dictionary or something but you really can get some momentum up down here can you see that it's like a weird mist going around the tunnel I think that's a bit of a bug. These tunnels, they are amazing. Some serious work has gone into them. And there we go out onto the other side. But yeah, I definitely feel like the... Um, there we go, there's a ticket and I don't even care because I was enjoying the scenery. I definitely feel like I'm getting a little bit closer to uh, sea level now. The mountains are sort of dropping away. There's a lot more water around. But yeah, that was awesome through there. Then another tunnel. There's so many tunnels. I bet we spent about half of our time going through tunnels in this episode. stuck behind another truck so let's put it in sixth and just cruise along oh it looks like I can see some uh, depots on the sat nav we must be getting near now in fact where did we just come out of? all the way around there that's cool it's really cool so we're just doing almost like a loop around the top part of this lake before we head inland I think so let's just carry on heading up here yeah I can see some uh, buildings up here now we must be coming close to Bergen just look at those up there I mean, you can't see them now because they're blocked by that factory or something is blocking them. But you can see, there you go, look at that. They're pretty high up. What an epic view that would be in the morning. Waking up to that. And I wouldn't mind working there. And guess what? Another tunnel. I think I recognise this route now. Coming through these tunnels to pick up places and then if I remember correctly there is a speed camera on the other side of this so I've got to watch my speed I'll just, is there any speed signs around here I didn't get a ticket bonus here we go Bergen discovered cool we made it that was one of the best journeys I have ever done in Eurotruck full stop so if you haven't done that journey before, what have you been doing for a starter? And then secondly, get yourself in a truck up here. Definitely would recommend a powerful one, so you're not struggling through the gears and you can enjoy the scenery a bit more. Where are we dropping off? Looks like GNT. Oh yeah, 
let's drop off the road here. Right, I think we need to choose where we're going to park it. I don't think I've got that option set in this. Uh, you know what? We'll just play it safe for today. We're not so uh, about the more simulation on this and let's play sort of vibe on this series. We're more of just looking around at the, se at the scenery. There we go. All parked up. And what a good drive that was in this Scania. Excellent, 272 miles and 200 litres of fuel burnt. That's quite a lot. <laughs> but yeah, what an epic way to end our first Best Drives video. If you did enjoy that, please do click the like. I'd massively appreciate that. And want to subscribe for more videos to come. I'm going to try and make this a weekly series and potentially even do a US version as well. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this, please click like again, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.